We will go to our second speaker today. The topic will be on labor. Mr. Ahmed Sharif, Director of Foreign Relations and International Cooperation from the Arab Labor Organization. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, thank you, Mrs. Rehab. On behalf uh, of uh, His Excellency Mr. Faiz Ali Mubiri, uh, Director General of the Arab Labor Organization, we would like to thank you all for the valuable input. Uh, we would like to know the learning experience of China uh, in protecting the MSMEs and the informal liberals during COVID-19 from the negative impact of the government's rigid measures uh, that were taken. Thank you. Our experts from China, we were waiting for your response to this question. Yeah, Dr. Sun will, uh, will okay, deliver some information. So I uh, uh, in this part, I want to give you some background of the recent Chinese central government's monetary policies and uh, physical policies as how, in overall speaking, the economic sectors can together fight the uh, COVID-19 in a coordinated way. So this may offer some extra information. So the central, uh, the central bank has uh, the, of the official interest rate of the central bank has been cut off by a, quote, uh, by a quarter percentage. So when the central bank lends money, to the commercial banks. The interest rate has been cut off by one quarter to about to around 2.5%. So in this way, this offers a flexible monetary policy, overly speaking, to all industries and benefits all industries. And also uh, regional banks, that it, if they extend the loans uh, to uh, like, to other uh, companies or individuals, the the flexible range when they when they give money to the individuals or companies, they can add no higher than a half percentage point to their interest rate. So the central bank cut that down by uh, zero point twenty five percent, and then when the commercial banks they made their loans, they can make no higher. Uh, than uh, about uh, half a percentage, percentage. So in all speaking, this maintains a flexible monetary policy, uh, monetary environment for all uh, entities in the market. And then, uh, so for the physical policies, we have made specific measures for the SMEs and also the medium-sized companies as well. So for the epidemic hit SMEs and the micro uh, firms, including the small business owners and the individual household businesses. So uh, we make application, uh, we, they can make applications to banks to defer the repayment of principal and interest expenses payable from January to June, 2020. So if you encourage the liquidity problems, so you run out of cash, you can delay or defer your payments, both the principal and the interest. And there is no overdue loan repayment. So if you are delayed, you are late, no penalties will be attached to this behavior. And also from March the 1st, uh, the 1st to March 21st, small taxpayers in the Hubei province, which is first hotly hit province in China. So small taxpayers in the Hubei province they will be exempt from the value added tax if their tax rate is at 3%. Uh, 3% is generally for like the household businesses, small businesses. So if you pay value added tax at 3%, then you are exempt for this period, no tax. And if you are from the areas that is outside the Hubei province, then those small taxpayers their, uh, their tax rate will be cut down from 3% to 1%. So in this way, particularly to, uh, targeted about the uh, SMEs, micro business, uh, you will be exempt from the tax that's payable. And also for uh, small household businesses, owners who have employees. So if the small business owners, they have employees, 
they can enjoy the policy of reducing and postponing the social security contributions. That is intended to benefit the court, uh, corporate employees. And besides that, if the business owners are unable to make registrations for, of their new employees during this uh, COVID-19, they can register after the epidemic is over and their insurance benefit will not be affected. And also, I, I want to uh, add one thing is that, uh, oh, okay, I mentioned that. Okay, that's basically the, uh, our measures for the SMEs, micro businesses. Thank you. Actually, uh, because I think this is a very, very important matter. Uh, even we, even we, can, we can consider to organize a special seminar for this matter. For example, in China, the private sector, private sector and small enterprises deliver about 80% of uh, jobs. In the, from, uh, from the old market, uh, labor market. So it's very important to keep their uh, stability uh, because the, the, the key issue here is uh, to work together and work hard to maintain their alive, to keep their alive, even by uh, their <coughs> healthy uh, 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 working we can guarantee the stability of, of our society. Can you Thank you. Thank you.